When I first heard Bus Tours, I was blown away. You can hear the original on George Duke's Snapshot CD. Everything about this song was just crazy to me. The feel, the meter, all of the different meters, the way Dennis Chambers attacked it, the sound of his drums. I can go on and on about this song. The way he played over the bar, I mean, it was just amazing to me. Never thinking that one day I'd be on stage performing this song with George Duke. Now this song is a lot more in depth. The meter seems like it's all over the place, but actually most of the song is in 4-4. There's a few odd meters in this song, and there's spots where every bar is different. But what I try to do is play around the melody, no matter what the time signature is. I learn the melody and that makes it easier for me to play the pattern, regardless of the time signature. I always work out which drum would sound better on each part of the melody, be it toms, snare hits, or cymbal crashes, or even a hi-hat choke. Once the groove starts, it's all about the triplet kick pattern, that boom 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 ka, boom 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 ka. That pattern grows throughout the whole song. That groove never stops until the end of the song. I may play little hits here and there around that groove, but it's always around that triplet kick motif. As for the solos, I always break it down at the beginning of each solo. It's important for us as drummers to listen to what's going on. Sometimes you may want to keep the solo up, but in general you want to break the beginning of the solo down. It has to build. If you start loud, there's really nowhere else to go. Also, it's a conversation between the soloist and the rest of the band. So you have to leave space for the other musicians to say what they have to say. As for my solo, it's coming from the same concept. I start down and I work my way up. With every solo I play, I try to play from my heart and not just think of chops that I can pull off. As I'm soloing, I'm thinking of the melody as well as the basic groove. From there, I just let my heart lead. It's definitely got to come from your heart. When I'm playing a song with odd meters, I make it a point to not always play the downbeat. Sometimes it's cool to play over the bar which means not crashing on or accenting the downbeat or the one of each bar. It makes for a more interesting feel. When soloing in a musical situation, it should not just be a bunch of licks. Please don't just plow through a solo with licks that you worked out in your practice room. People should feel your heart. A solo should be paced. It's a start here and it builds to a climax. Even in your solo, it should be in context with the song that you are playing. Soloing out of context is almost as bad as a keyboard player just playing in a different key because that's the only key he knows how to solo in. It just doesn't work. So remember, when soloing, stay in context with the music and don't forget the music dictates what we play, even when we're soloing.